Ground Control proudly presents an interview with Half Gracie, Jiu Jitsu Master. Meet Half Gracie, a third generation Jiu Jitsu master of the legendary Gracie family from Brazil. One of the pioneers and early champions in the world of mixed martial arts in America, Half Gracie has cemented a reputation for his aggressive, no nonsense, and pressure based approach to the art. He has been teaching in the San Francisco Bay Area for the past 25 years, and today we have an opportunity to meet with him and talk about his life and opinions about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like this, you're like this, you're like right here, you go, boom, boom. Here. Kick, you're kicking that one. Entendeu? Ah, okay. In the beginning, like, let's start like, uh, very young. Like when we were like five, four or five years old, uh, our dad started teaching us just playing. Nothing really to the gym or nothing like this. It was like more like a, Hey, come here. Let, 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 let me choke you. Let me play around with you. And uh, after that, then uh, we moved to, to Rio de Janeiro, uh, to, to Barra. It's a place in Rio de Janeiro. And uh, then we started like, training hard. When we were like 13 years old, then uh, we actually dedicated. It was like twice a day, every day. You know, like uh, yeah, we we're kids. And uh, as we were kids, we were like doing some, some I'm, I'm not saying a bad thing, I would say like, uh, we do like a, being a pest a lot of times, and uh, we go grounded. The only place we grounded, like, hey, we cannot go to the beach, you cannot go no other places except to the school and to jujitsu. We were never forced, hey, gotta do it. Let's gotta go. It was natural. It was like being over there was fun. Being over there was like the place I wanna be. You know, that was, uh, you know, most of my fun in my life. A lot, of, a lot of my fun in my life, I'm not saying that most of it, a lot of my fun in my life happens on the mat, happen training, happen with my friends in training. You know, my group, the people that I live, the people you know, that, uh, that I like it, they are involved. If they were not involved, we made them involved. We, we brought them in. You know, our culture, our, our lifestyle, which uh, that's what we're looking for, our lifestyle. And, and not just that, I, I was confident. I was confident who I was, you know. Uh, I was confident uh, that I was going to succeed. I was confident, that, you know, and any, any, anywhere I go, even if I go surfing, I was confident surfing. If I, you know, if I was going to do, if I was going to jump off a bridge, I was the first one to jump because I was, I was confident who I, who I am, you know, as a, as a, as a my courage, as a my, my will to do the things I like to do, you know, and, and that, I think this, what, what brought me to this was jiu-jitsu. You know, the courage, the, the how to say, the, the free spirit, the lifestyle that I'm, that I'm telling you about, you know, and uh, the, the, way, the way we, we brought it up. Benefits, many benefits. You know, like uh, I seen people coming over here like afraid. You know, like uh, they, they 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 look down when they walk in the street. No confidence, no self-esteem. Do you to give you all that that to you back? You know, like when when you when you when you you learn how to to your fears. You know, like in jujitsu, you know, like even when you train, especially when you're growing up, the environment back then. Everything that I have nowadays in my life that I know, most of them I learned from jujitsu, from the time on my on the mat, get you know my self confidence, my my discipline, the 
the way I conduct my business. They're all about jiu-jitsu. You know, it's not just about like you learn how to fight. Fight is just a little small aspect of the martial arts. But like you, when you're walking tall in the street, like knowing you can protect yourself. You know, like uh, not, not accepting uh, if someone cuss at you, like you don't care because you know what you can do. You know, in, uh, in, in your business attitude that you need sometimes to, to be bold. All this, I learned here. I'm, I, you know, I went to school until a certain point. But my life, the things that I know in life, I learned here. I learned how to, to, be, to be a good person. I learned how to, to respect my, my, my friends and my opponents, which you have to do. I know that's I, my lifestyle. I like to respect people, you know, and I like to be respected at the same time. And I gain all that to this. People look at me, they respect me. At the same time, I'm, I respect the other person, you know? Just don't step on my toes, don't push me too hard. We have no problems. That's, you know, this, that's what you gain from the jiu-jitsu. Here, I keep in a turning. Yes, perfect. Exactly like that. That's the truth, because like, uh, everything is built in terms of leverage. And jiu-jitsu, it is leverage. It's about like the smaller person applying the right leverage in the right point, in the right pressure, will be able to break an arm with two fingers. Actually, I get, actually four fingers. I'll say, like, if I get to your arm and pull it down in the right spot, with four fingers, you'll be able to snap your arm in two. This is leverage. This is jiu-jitsu. It's be able to, with no effort, a lot of times, to be able to defeat a way larger opponent. And this is the benefits. This is the, the philosophy. Like, hey, I'm smaller. Just because I'm in the bottom doesn't mean I'm losing. And I can fight for hours without letting you hit me. What kind of sport can you do this? Can you box without getting hit? Can you Mai Tai without getting hit? Can you do karate without getting hit? There's only martial arts that can actually do this is Jiu Jitsu. It's the grappling. I can defeat my opponent without even actually hurting him. That happened to me. Like one time I was like in Brazil. And uh, we're, I got in a fight in school. With, like, uh, I was old already. I was like 18 years old, something like that, 17. And uh, I got, my friend got in a fight. And some other fight that happened before. And uh, he got his butt kicked. Then I told the guy, hey, now it's, you, be, you beat him up. Now it's my turn to beat me up. I took him down. I took him down. Hurt him a couple of times. Then I took him down again. Mount him. I hit him a couple of times and told him, hey, I, I have enough. I don't really know why we're fighting, but I can hurt you. Do you understand me? He didn't say nothing. I stand up, he moved. I throw him a little elbow just in the face just to make sure he's, he understand. Do you understand? He said, yes. I stand up, gave him a hand, pick him up. He said, man, you're a cool guy. You know, I, I, you could have hurt me. You could actually whoop me, and you didn't. You know, you, you make me grow. That's what he told me. Like the beauty of jiu-jitsu changing lives. Uh, that was a, the question you asked me over here. And, uh, I have one in my, in my gym. I have Kurt. He's too crazy. Don't, don't take me wrong. I, I did not try to take the craze out of him. But uh, it's the life changing. A drug addict, 360 pounds. Uh, that's when I, when I moved to United, actually that's when I came to United States uh, about 24 years ago. And uh, we have this, this crazy looking dude, still like crazy looking, but big guy, drug addict, like, seeing stuff coming out of the wall. And now he's one of my black belts, teaching my gym, he's one of my main teachers. He's like, competes, fight for MMA, now changing lives. That's what Jiu Jitsu is about. You know, like so many people we touch. See, like uh, we went to, uh, like in the Middle East, like Abu Dhabi, Dubai. We 
We have over 700 Brazilians teaching martial arts for the students of every school in the country. This is like, how much can you change? We don't change just one life, we change the whole country. That's how much we change. You don't have to be an athlete. You know, like, uh, I would say like 90% of my, of my students, they're not athletes, they're businessmen. That's okay. We got a space for you. We got a place in the chain for you. See, the, the idea is, I want to get the person which is not an athlete, he may become an athlete. You know, and I want to get the average Joe which has no expectation about his life and make him some, something else, make him better for himself. Not for me. Him, the idea is you have to feel good for you. And this was this giving to you. I don't want you to feel good for, for I feel good. The idea, I want you to feel good for you because you feel old, man. I feel good. I feel, I feel confident. I, I feel stronger. I feel really... I can, I can run faster, I can do this, it's just a will. You know, if you don't have, that's a problem, if you don't have the will, that's nothing we can do. You know, your lack of will, that's, that's your problem. That is not, that is not, that is two jujitsu. There's only one jujitsu, okay? That's jujitsu. But a lot of times people focus more, a little bit more on the sport jujitsu. Which is the, is the more growing because the competitions and they has a, the competitive point of view, right? And, and by doing that, a lot of times people are forgetting the other part of Jiu Jitsu, which is the, this learning how to fight. Just because you don't know Jiu Jitsu, it doesn't mean a fighter. Or it doesn't mean, not, I'm not going to even say a fighter because a fighter is a more like a, uh, let's go back to an athlete. I suppose to the average Joe. That's not that you're a fighter, but you don't know how to protect yourself outside. So the idea of the, 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 the jiu-jitsu taught completely is you'll be able to not just feel confident if you're going to train jiu-jitsu in, in the mat, but you feel confident outside the mat. Are you confident enough? That's that's the main thing. People are more worried about the names on the, on the, on the, on the world champion. Oh, I'm a world champion. I am, uh, my academy is, it is a academy cha world champion. My team is a world champion. So people are thinking more like, hey, let's, let's view the, the, the competition point of view. Oh, the, and people like start following that. But the, the truth is, the world is becoming more violent each time. People are becoming more problems. People are running out of money. People are like, uh, uh, you see what's, what's happening in the world nowadays. So it becomes more violent. So as it becomes more violent, people need to know more jujitsu, the old style, and which is not being taught right now. And back then, it was, like, it was more relaxed. There was no need for that. It was not that there's no need. It was, like, it was something that was, okay, let, let it stay there. And this was not passed for a lot of people. And since it was not passed, a lot of the black belts nowadays, they don't know the part of the self-defense. They don't know. 
I would, I would say, let me be, be, I would say maybe 90% of the people, they do jiu-jitsu, they don't know the self-defense aspect of jiu-jitsu. You know, uh, it's funny because uh, I did a seminar this weekend with my cousin Hoyle, and uh, we were talking about that because uh, sometimes you get a guy and holding a headlock, which is a self-defense move, he doesn't know how to escape. And this I'm talking about like a world champs with black belts. And they actually doesn't know how to, to escape from a, the proper way to escape. But since they are tough, since they are athletes, oh, but I, I don't need it, because I'm not gonna get there. So that's the point, they don't need it, but the student need it. He doesn't know, but they, and I'm an athlete, I'm, I'm not gonna get beat, I'm a professional fighter. But what about your students? which is not a professional fighter, which has not uh, so much, there's not so, so strong, or there's not the, the, the time of training. What about for the average person? If did someone get them on the, on the headlock, do they know how to escape? And this is like, a, the headlock is a simple choke that you grab right here, which everyone knows how to do it. Even the guy doesn't know the jiu-jitsu. It's like every bar fight, if you see the guy grab the other one and try to bring it down, and now, how can I tell you, my student, that I don't know how to do that? If, how the, if the guy grabs you here, I'm going to make something up. And this is why. You know, people, it, 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 it is not com competitive. There's no place to show except outside. The only one that is going to know is you, that you know. But you have no place to show. I'm going to come here and say, hey, attack me from the front. I'm going to defend. It's not, it's not like I'm doing a presentation. But the sport jiu-jitsu, they have that presentation. They have the competition. The self-defense jiu-jitsu has no competition for it. So by, by not having competition, not, not, not being showing, show, it's been forgotten. But this is the actually part that you need it in case you need a fight. It's the part that you need it to protect your family. You know, how to, how to go. The idea, you don't, not support, if you can run, you can run, but sometimes you cannot run. That's pretty much it. That's what I think that happens. The first best, the, the best advice that I think is first, don't give up. You know, uh, especially when you start. The, 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 it's not an easy start because uh, this is not a, this is not a, I'll call it uh, not a lying martial arts. There is no faking. So that's every time that you train, you actually really you train, like, you know, there's another person after, against you. And train. Try to use less power as you can. But if you got power, use it too. That, you know, the, main, the main, don't give up. You know, and, and uh, try to spend at least six months, the first six months, trying, that, you know, and make sure you train hard. And that's when, when I told you, like, uh, the don't give up point, because you're only going to stop using your strengths when you don't give up and you learn the martial arts. We hope, we hope, we hope that you don't, you don't keep up, because if you're a beginner. Yeah, because that, that's what actually give you bad habits. You lose the, so much of the, the fundamentals because you start learning something so advanced. That, that's not good for you at all. Right. You know, like, that's one thing. Like, back then, you're not even allowed to learn triangle prior to a certain belt. They didn't allow us to, uh, to do that. Why? why? Don't, do, don't, don't do it. That's why. Because it it's easy to make people tap. So it becomes like a, instead you learn the arm bar from the guard, you only learn how to triangle. Because white belts, they don't know how to defend triangle. And then, then what happens if the white belts don't know how to triangle, then you learn how to do a lot of triangle. But then you start getting higher belts, they don't know how to defend, then not, you don't know how, how to do the arm bar anymore as well. And when I was always learning, I always remember that you know, the, our pass was like you can give the triangles a double one arm under the stack. The, the, the triangle is always there.
but we're not allowed to, to get it. You know, so we can learn how to, to get to the side. And nowadays, I pass my guard to the side, like, and people don't, they don't know, how do you do that? Because of the past, that I was a kid. One of the biggest gifts you can give to a kid, to, a, to your, your, your family, right? A lot of times, you know, like, uh, your parents are going to give you, when they die, they leave, like, sometimes they leave a car, they leave a house, they, leave, they want to see your, your well-being, right? They, they always think about possession. But what about the confidence, the self-confidence? What about something that you cannot be taken away? The jiu-jitsu, how to protect yourself. You know, you think about like uh, the, the, your well-being, about being, being just having money, but what about your well-being when you're in a, in a tough situation that you need protection? And what, what's good is, House, you can lose a house, you can lose all the money, but you're never going to lose Jiu Jitsu. The knowledge that is given to you is priceless. <laughs>